The Pocket Community Theater in Hot Springs experienced more tricks than treats last week. In just four days, they were robbed three times. Some critical elements for a live show taken. KRK Force Rebecca Jeffrey was there as they try to figure out how they'll keep their Christmas show on track. Rebecca? Yeah, good evening, Ashley and Bob. The actors, they're okay. The stage is intact. But behind the scenes, those important pieces that bring a show to life, those are gone, stolen. And this community theater that works solely on volunteers is having to work harder than ever to make sure this doesn't dampen their holiday spirit. The set is prepped for rehearsal. The countdown is on for the next show at the Pocket Community Theater. And while you can always expect a few bumps leading up to a performance. If there had been a show this past weekend, we would have had to cancel the show. Almost $6,000 worth of equipment was stolen after getting robbed three times in a week, days before installing surveillance cameras. So the timing was absolutely terrible. The first time they cleaned out this cabinet of power tools. And the second time, they hit us hard. That's when they took all of our, our light equipment, our wireless mics, our TVs, the safe. James Kindle is a pocket board member and says each time the thieves got more confident digging into this theater's treasure trove of equipment. Well, what did they steal and how's it going to affect my show? Thomas Cooper is directing the upcoming show, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. This one is something where it's trying to teach a lesson. It's trying to teach uh, something that's completely contrary to what's happened to us. In some theft cases, police don't have to look very far. Like in this case, it just had to walk across the street. 27-year-old Seamus Forsberg was squatting at this home. He was arrested after police found quite a few of the stolen items, but not all. Everyone was shocked. Everyone was angry. Everyone was sad, and everyone's still sad. A flood of emotions familiar in a theater, but the next time they're felt here, Kendall hopes it's because the actors stole the audience's heart. One arrest has been made, but the theater is expecting more arrests in this case. Now, some of the more unusual items stolen include stage makeup, camouflage costumes, even silverware from the prop room. Bob. Let us know how that wraps up. Rebecca, thanks very much.